Hi, Xavier. Hi. How are you? We're going to wait a few minutes and see who else shows up. Okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you. We're going to wait a couple minutes. Don't draw on my screen because I'm recording this. I know it's fun to play with. I was just like, wait, you can actually draw on this? I was just trying to, I was just seeing like, is this, act, can you actually just do this? So I'm not planning on doing wait, it very much. Wait, wait, is that Charlie? Oh, hello. Charlie e Gilmet? Yes. Is that wait? What? Char I, boot. Charlie. Hi, hi, well. How are you? Good. Would you just wake up? No. Okay. As I said, we're gonna wait for wait for a few more people, and then we will begin probably. It's seven o'clock now. We'll wait a couple more minutes. Hi, Autumn. Hi. How are you? Okay, here we go. Sensei Don. Yes. Can we sneeze in class? Can you sneeze in class? <laughs> I would think so, but your mother may not want you sneezing on her iPad or whatever you're using. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 Hey, Red. Hello. So the assignment was to uh, think of who one person you would want on your dream team. Yeah, would think of. Like, could it be like someone dead? Because that person would be on my dream team. Okay, you could get yeah, that's a different that's an interesting way of putting it. Why is there an echo for um why is there an echo in general on here? Somebody probably has somebody probably has a delay. Is that Snoopy again? No. Oh, okay. All right, this, this week we're going to talk about what it takes to build your team. And like, like, my, like my video, the coffee's hot. You know, it usually, when you're, usually when, it, when you're asked to build a team, it starts out with your boss coming in and going, Hey, you got a few minutes. Let's go get some coffee. And then you know that there's either two things are going to happen. Either you're out or there's more work coming your way. More likely, it's more work, and co work coming your way. 
But, you know, and it's like, you know, we, we have a project and you have two weeks to make it work. And that's been, you know, that's, that's, that's the story of how, how my life goes and how my work life goes. And, you know, you're up on a mountain and you got to figure out whether you're going to jump in or jump off. I don't think we should ever jump off a mountain. Exactly. Jump into one. Exactly. Well, you can, if, you can, if you're jumping into a mountain, that means you're jumping into a volcano. Well, you know the mountain. The mountain we talked about. That's Everest. That's that's your that's that's your Mount Everest. Well, so you never jumping. you never want to jump off the mountain. You want to jump again? You're jumping into a giant ice. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Semantics. <laughs> So, you know, it's all the time. It's like, like, let's do this. I got a, I got a project in October that I'll base this discussion on. It was like, we just saved a whole bunch of money bringing this back and you have to make it work. And, and it was like, you know, you know the, the conversation went, you know about this stuff, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. You got to put a team together and make this work. It's like, okay. So, all right. Who do we have on our team when we start? And we're going to base this on, we're going to base this on the, uh, the Maxwell book. We got, we got people like they're the enthusiastic people. You know, when you're doing some stuff and they're the people, they're the puppy. They're, they just want to please. And they're just going, yes, 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 yes. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. The problem is they don't know how to do it. They're enthusiastic, but you got to put time aside to teach them what you need to do. Something to think about. Then you have the disillusioned. You know, well, you know, I know this, and uh, but I don't know that. And, you know, you need, you need some coaching. Like, I've done a lot of this with people on my, on my teams in the past. You know they know it but you have to bring it out of them like Jackson I know you know a lot of more about the karate and I know you could do a lot better than you think you can do so my job as your team leader is to coax that out of you for example for example Fair I know. Example. A fair example. Excellent. You know, and then you've got you've got the the, the cautious completer, and they're the ones that are going. Eh, did you do that right? Yeah, you did it right. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did it right. Did I do that right? Well, you know, you asked me ten times this last hour, and what's the response been every time? Yes. I've done that myself because what happens is these uh, people, these people on your team are kind of nervous about it and they're like afraid for their jobs and they're afraid for this and they're afraid to go to push themselves. So they want to make sure that they're doing a good job and they want to make sure they are, but what you have to do is help them to own the job that you're giving them. Like, like, uh, Xavier. Yeah. If I had a job, if I had a job for you, and you know, what you what what kind of stuff do you like to do that doesn't include karate and doesn't include um, smiling? Cool. Xavier. Um. Yo, tell me, your life isn't based on school and karate, is it? No. 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 If it was, that'd kind of be sad. Wait, what, once again? Oh, so it's just based on school and karate. No, that'd what? Kind of be sad. What do you do for? What do you do for? What do you do for hobbies? For hobbies. Um, karate. Okay. Karate. Noah. Okay. Noah. Extracurricular. You be you. You play sports, right? Lots of them. Do you? <laughs> okay. Um. Do you play? 
like, like if, if you started a new sport and you knew, really knew what you were doing, but you checked in all the time and went, uh, did I do it right? Can I do it better? Can I do it better? You can always do it better. Yeah, well, you can, yeah, you're right. The, the cautious completer is the one that does it right all the time and still asks if they do it right. You know those guys? Yep, that's me. Yeah. In math. And it's one of those things that, that, that you, you probably think you know you've done it right and you still got to ask the questions. But part of this is – what's that? Well, when, when you're just kind of learning it and then you think – then you kind of got it down a bit, but you still want to make sure that you have it, like, mm -hmm. pretty much completely down, then it could be good to ask, mm -hmm. right, am I doing this right? You don't want to get this down to a point and then you're like, wrong. Exactly. But at, as when you're working on a team, there's only a certain amount of time that you have to get it right. You know what I mean? Yes. And then you have the self, the, the self-reliant achiever, and I've done this so many times before, and it's like, oh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's like, me. oh, I'll just do it. Me. You're like that too? Oh, yes. Here. Fit, fist bump. We're together on that one. It's it, it's and it's a problem. It's a problem that I've been called on before, and it's a problem that I still is a work in progress for me. But I'll just go. Oh, I'll just do it. But now that I've been put in charge of teams, I can't do that anymore because I have to teach people. And part of being a leader is teaching people how to be better than you are. Because that's your job is to teach people to be better. Like like Noah when it when when. Um, you're ready to get your black belt. People are going to teach you, but I want you to be so much better than I am. That's going to be hard, but okay. That's not going to be hard. I'm almost 60 years old. <laughs> you're you know, doing really good. You know, you know, it's like, it's like, yeah, well, Sensei John's a lot better than I am. No. Yes. But it's like, it's like, you know, it's our job. It's our job to be your team, be your backup. And then it's going to be your job to be somebody else's team, be their backup. Oh, no, I already, I already have plans for you once you get your black belt. I know exactly who I'm going to push you with to get to, to have you push them harder. Okay. You know, you know can, and then you have to take a look at your team and you go, can I do the job with the team I have? Stop writing on my screen. Can I do the job with the team I have? Is it? Is there enough people here to get the job done? Usually the answer is yes. But is there a lot, is there enough people there to get the job done that you want to do? You know, you could put a whole bunch of people together and train, 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 train to get your black belt, and you get your black belt. But are they the right people to take you to the point that you need to be? Are they the very right people to get the most out of you and to make the experience that you have the best experience that you can be, that you can have? And that's where you, you can throw a whole bunch of people at an issue and have them solve the issue. But does it make your product the best it can be? Noah, does it make you the best you can be? You, know, you can put a whole bunch of people together and you're fine. You know, you can go out and do this and that and the other thing. But do, I want, do, do you want to be so good that you can just take it and, and be on somebody else's team? If you just did it, blah, you know, you get the job done, but it's like getting a C in school. You're going to get out. You're going to pass it. Is that what you want to do? No. No, you want to get the A. What's on your ceiling, Xavier? So, so basically, basically, you have a team. I have a team. I have a team that I have people that I have people here. I have people all over the country, and I have people in India. 
that I talk to every day. On paper, I lead the team. When we talk about putting a team together, everybody's equal. Because what I'm going to give you the opportunity, say you're all on my team. Jackson, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take the lead on some part of it. Xavier, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take the lead on some of it. Ben, I know you're there somewhere. I can see, I can see your name. I'm going to give you opportunities to take the lead from some of it. And Noah, I'm going to give you opportunities to take the lead from some of it. Because what I want you to do is I want you to have that same opportunity in another, in another project. This is why, Jackson, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, when, when you're ready to get your black belt, I'm gonna, we're going to set some people together to be your team to help you train. And then we're going to take you and we're going to talk to you and we're going to say, okay, Jackson, now that you have your black belt, time for you to be the team to help the next generation train. Because my job is to make you better than me. My job, that's even with your leadership skills. That's even with your ability to bring people up to the next level. That's my job to make you better. And if you're not better than me, I've failed. And you don't have to be better than me physically. If, if you're better than me mentally, if you can get yourself in, if you can, if you can analyze the situation and look for a better process than I can get, you're better than I am, and I have to value that. But then again, there will always, there'll always be certain situations where you will be better at us, and there will always be certain situations. Where you exactly. Exactly. Two thumbs up. Yes. What that means is you, you, can, you, lead, you take the lead for that part because you're better at it than I am. And it, and it, you know, and, and um, Maxwell uh, talks about getting rid of people. Now, this is where I, this is where I have to, this is where I have to uh, argue against, uh, argue against um, Maxwell. There's a point where you have to get rid of ineffective people, but part of that, part of your job is to make them, is to empower them to be awesome. Awesome. No, seriously. Do it. If I looked at you, no, if I looked at you and you made a mistake on one thing and I said, you're not on the team anymore. That's not, that's not doing my job. That's not being a good leader. Everyone's going to make a mistake at some point. It's yeah. Everybody has to make a mistake at some point. And everybody has, there's a new attitude in business right now. Freedom to fail. You have the freedom to fail because you can't be better if you're, if you're afraid that you're going to fail. Right. You can't make make the best thing in the world if you're afraid that you're going to fail. Look at Edison. How many times did he try to get the light bulb going? He failed more than once. Yeah, he failed. He failed more more times than it took him to get it right. I think I studied it for a little bit. I think it took him somewhere around eighteen eight hundred times. Yeah, it was significant. Yeah, I knew it was like in the hundred. I just didn't know the exact number. So what? What would happen if, if Edison goes, uh, uh, or if somebody said, "Well, Edison, you failed a hundred times. You're out. I'm not going to fund you anymore. We wouldn't have a light bulb." Well, we probably would eventually have one. Eventually, somebody else would have come. We wouldn't have had it as quick. We'd have a light bulb. We'd have some. After kind about of eight times, after about eight different people. Fifth people failed 100 times and then they were out about it after about 800 people after about no but after about eight people we would have the light bulb but you know and it, yeah you're right you're right but i thought about this last night and i said what are what are my most challenging things in creating a team and, and number one was equilibrium equilibrium means balance you have to create a balance in a team you can't have more people you can't have it weighed down with with people at know a little bit too much about this and not enough about that. You know, you have to, and you, you got it. You, you, you can't have an ego because you're not always right. And when somebody on your team gets an ego, that's kind of ego, bad, ego, bad, ego, bad, because then you can't really push the, you, you can't create the best thing because somebody already thinks they have the best thing. Yeah. You go bad. 
you go bad. You go bad. Encouragement, good. Encouragement, um, encouragement, um, the encouragement, um, encouragement, um, makes the expiration date go, um, makes the expiration date longer. Yes. Thinking on thinking thinking on Jackson's level. Yes. Because it's taken me a while to analyze Jackson, Jack, the Jackson-esque. You know, it's one of those things. It took me a minute to analyze what I what the proper grammar was. Anymore. What do you think? What do you think is the most challenging thing in creating a team? Uh, finding the right people for the team. Finding the right people. Hey, Chris, what do you think is the most challenging thing to swinging around in your chair? I'm not getting dizzy. Oh, hey, there we go. What do you think is the most challenging thing about creating a team? Having a good reason to do something on the first place. One more time. Having a good reason to do so in the first place. Oh, there you go. I've not thought of that one. I like ben, that one. Ben, I like that one very much. Ben, I'm going to I'm going to skip over you for a minute because I want to talk I want to tie Hey Steve, what's been your most difficult thing putting a team together? Oh, well, I've been doing it all morning. Yeah, it's not it's it's hard to do. Yeah. It's hard to do and it's it's a lot of this stuff. It's egos, it's equilibrium, it's a whole bunch of different things. Now, Ben. Ben, your turn, Ben. Ben, don't 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 turn into Earth, Ben. Ben, don't turn into Earth. Ben, what's the uh, hardest thing? What's the hardest thing you think putting a team together is? Finding the right people. I like. There we go. Having the right people again, Charlie. Charlie, you're all about team right now, buddy. Yep. You're all about team, and you're all about putting together. Put it, you know. It, what what do you think was the hardest part about getting the right person to do your black belt stuff with? Um, first of all, try to learn how they do it too, and not like, um, like if you gotta make it get along with them, so it's not a big mess. And you also, know, you may not have someone that's your friend, and that they might become your friend in the end. And also, probably, um having the best reason to have the team. You know something? I, I like that. And I didn't put that down, and I should have. You know, getting along with people. Yeah. Teamwork works a lot better when you get along with people. Yeah. Autumn, are you awake in there? Yeah. Autumn, what's been your most difficult thing putting a team together? What what's that? Can you put down Yeah, kneel down, Nick now so we can see your face. Your face. Okay, so making a team in general, just the whole thing has has been difficult. I thought of something that I want to change my answer. No, don't change your answer. Add something else. All right. So uh, another thing is um, adapting to situations that come your way. Ooh, we call them roadblocks. How how do you how do you um how do you get how do you get past roadblocks? Interesting. There's another one. Who's, so, yes. who's hiding in there? Is that Cameron I see hiding in there? Cam Steve, you got from planet Earth out to San Francisco. That's awesome. Oh, is that what we're on now? Yeah, you're okay. on San Francisco. <laughs> So I, can I add something in? You do Yeah, please, Steve. Add something into the add something in the conversation, please. I was going to let everybody else talk, but you know, I, I built a lot of teams, uh, security teams for the state. And the one thing I always look for when I do that is I'll reach out to the state police, I'll reach out to the National Guard, I'll reach out to the Coast Guard, um, I reach out to uh, the civil support team. Uh, I can name it, police departments. What I always look for is. What does everybody bring to the team? Because 
If I have everybody show up with an explosive detection canine team, but nobody brings radiation detection equipment, well, then I can't do proper screening for radiation because everybody's got a dog. On the other hand, if everybody brings radiation detection equipment, then I can't do explosive detection with canines. So I look for people that come to the team that have a different asset so that they complement each other. Because if everybody brings a different piece and puts it together, that's how you get the whole picture. It's like when you're building a house. If you have 50 plumbers, but you don't have any electrician, you're never going to finish the house. You need somebody that's going to be an electrician, you need a plumber, you need a carpenter, you need a roofer. You got to have everybody that's got one piece of the puzzle that comes together to form the whole picture. You need that. You need that balance. If you only have plumbers instead of a house, you end up with a water park. <laughs> yes, but your toilet works great. I mean, if you use a water mill, then you still have power. If you can get toilet paper. So look finding that. <laughs> I mean, if you, do, if you have the plumbers, you can make a water mill for energy. No, no, no. There's too much intellect in that. Okay. Next week, we're going to start talking about chains. I like chains. I like chains, too. We're going to like talk the, about we're going to talk about the weakest link. Exactly. We're going to talk about weakest links, but we're going to talk about it in some awesomely different ways. Yay. I still haven't figured out how awesomely different yet. But <laughs> we're going to do that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Eventually. Anybody have anything else? Not right. I didn't realize I had boxes behind me. Yes, you have boxes behind you. Um, Xavier's dancing on the world. Uh, Steve and Ben are back in space. Charlie is waiting. Oh, Steve's back in San Francisco. And Autumn's asleep. Uh, oh, she stirred. Okay, guys. Anybody have anything else? No. No. Awesome. Have an awesome week. Wait. What? I did chat you okay. something, uh, a question earlier. You chatted me. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, both. Both, my friend. Both. And I okay. still haven't figured. I am the, I, I am the black bell whisperer. I get the right people to work with the right people. Yeah, he does. I do. Hey, whose cat has a piece of pizza on their head? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Somebody's cat has a piece of pizza on their head. You're going to be disappointed. Oh, narrow. Okay. No, it's not warmed up. Oh. What do you want for dinner? Uh, hey, Ben. This. All right. All right. We're done. We're done. We're done dancing. Everybody have a safe and healthy week, and we'll talk to you next Tuesday. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. We'll see you. Bye. I'm being radiated. Being radiated.